So the first thing is uh, you had to sign off um, commits with git commit dash dash sign off since the developer certificate of origin sign off is one of the required checks. So you will always uh, need to have this, otherwise your uh, pre um, your basically CI checks will fail and your PR will not be merged. Uh, the second thing is actually running pre-commit. Uh, basically, it's a standard tool to use uh, to enforce some coding standards, such as formatting, linting, so on. This is quite easy to uh, set up uh, locally so that you don't have to wait for CI to say, oh, you you, you forgot uh, a comma somewhere. So it's it's easy. You just uh, pip install pre-commit. You install the pre-commit hook so that when you run git commit, uh, the, the checks are actually run. Uh, or you can also run it uh, manually like this, pre-commit run uh, all files, or you can run it on a subset of commits. So for example, to run it on the previous 10 commits, uh, you can do something like this. Or if sometimes you just want to commit, but don't uh, want to wait for all the pre-commit verifications to uh, to go to, to succeed, you can just do a git commit no verify to skip the pre-commit uh, verification. Uh, don't use this if you're actually expecting your PR to be merged because all checks must pass for, for something to be merged. So you're, you can do that as a development step, but not uh, for the final uh, result. So some other things that you should be doing when contributing. So write tests like unit or integration tests, add documentation to docs if, uh, if it's something that needs to be uh, documented. And if possible, try to keep changes small incre and incremental possibly atomic uh, so that each commit actually makes sense and is understandable by reviewers if possible and yeah uh, there's also another important thing which is uh, the pr titles and classification so there's a bunch of kind of tags that are used to classify uh, the prs into different categories such as bug fixes ci and build improvements or fixes um, documentation builds model just for adding new models or improving existing ones front end changes to vlm front end kernel changes core changes and so on so there's a lot of different um, classes you can see uh, some explanation on each one of these on the on the docs again i highly recommend uh checking this out so one uh, other thing is that it's there's a lot of issues that are labeled as good first issues so if you want uh, to spend some time uh like getting to know vlm try to look for these good first issues and then you can start actually uh, looking at uh looking at the code and starting to contribute